on our social media segment, Kakaki Social is up next. How are you, Ohima? Very well, TV. Thank you very much. Hope we do have more trends up today. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> Carrying. Good morning. Welcome to Kakaki Social. I am Ohimaya Maize. This is the segment where we present you the issues that are shaping conversations in the Nigerian social media. Uh, we're starting on the very sad note this morning. Hawa Liman, an aid worker with the International Committee of the Red Cross, was executed yesterday by Boko Haram. That report filtered into the Nigerian social media, uh, generating quite some kind of... Uh, uh, not so very interesting uh, uh, remarks we've seen from the social media from Nigerians yesterday. Uh, let's take a look at how that uh, panned out in the, in the social media. And Boko Haram actually also issued a statement stating that uh, the kidnapped Dabchi girl, Leah Sharibo, was going to remain with them in detention as a slave. Uh, the picture you are seeing on your screen is a picture of the late Hawa uh, Liman. She was just 24 years old. Uh, uh, very sad development uh, yesterday, executed by Boko Haram for simply doing her job. Uh, rest in peace but let's take a look at uh, how nigerians uh, uh, were talking about this issue yesterday in the social media the cable qu actually exclusively broke the report yesterday breaking boko haram executes another aid worker says leah will leave as a slave uh, this is coming uh, quite as a shock to a lot of nigerians uh, uh, considering uh, remarks uh, in the past by the nigerian government that boko haram has been defeated and um, this issue came yesterday and uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the comments we saw in the social media Okanga Shewell tweeted tweeting at hey underscore Shewell said uh, how are Lehman? We didn't deserve you. Rest in peace. And let's take a look at uh, a few more comments on this issue that was trending uh, yesterday uh, from Shady Aftermath. How are Lehman was a beautiful soul. The government failed you. Sorry, love. Uh, very, very sad uh, development yesterday we saw on this issue of how Lehman was killed by Boko Haram. Uh, Dr. Lushagun Mimiko, former governor of Ondo State and presidential candidate of the Zenit Labour Party, tweeted, announced execution of Hawa Lehman of ICRC heartbreaking. Government appears helpless as lives are wasted needlessly. The FG must ensure the release of Leah Sharibu and others still being held captive. This cycle of bloodletting must be broken. May she rest in peace. Uh, the words of Dr. Lucia Gumimiko, they're tweeting on his official handle on Twitter. And of course, the uh, presidential candidate of the PDP, Atiko Abaka, also tweeted, I'm deeply saddened by the mother of Hawa Liman, an ICRC aid worker by terrorists. I implore the federal government to deploy every reasonable tool at its disposal to bring Leah Sharibu and all the children in Boko Haram captivity home. Uh, still a lot of Nigerian children in Boko Haram captivity, even from the ones kidnapped in Chibok. And then, of course, the case of, Dab of uh, Dabchi, where you have uh, Leah Sharibu still in detention. From Mark Amaza on Facebook, we saw this comment, Hawa Liman, I still remember the voice note she sent to her family as they were being abducted with her voice full of terror. No one deserves to die this way. It is even more disappointing that this government will just unlook it like it did for her colleague, Saifura. Rest in peace. Uh, quite touching comments uh, from Nigerians uh, yesterday as this issue was trending. Then the Nigerian government has officially issued a statement uh, tweeting at NGR president yesterday. We saw this tweet. The federal government is shocked and saddened at the killing of another aid worker by Boko Haram on Monday, despite the actions taken by the government and the widespread appeal to save the young woman. In another tweet, uh, which we'll see very shortly, uh, the, the federal government in that tweet continued and said that, uh, in a statement issued on Monday, the Minister of Information and Culture, Elijah Lai Mohammed, described the killing as dastardly, inhuman, and ungodly, saying nothing can justify the shedding of the blood of innocent people. Uh, this is almost becoming a template uh, from uh, government. Uh, whenever citizens are killed, uh, this must not happen again. But uh, we really don't see concrete steps taken to ensure that these things are preempted from even happening in the first place. And still on a very sad note, uh, this issue has been trending in the social media. Attention, Anita Capson was gunned down last night by policemen that were dragging with her at Maitama Abuja. She did nothing wrong and her family have reported but no response. Please let us get justice for Anita. Make this go viral. From Twitter is at Chris Hayes underscore. The lady you are seeing the picture was shot in Abuja by the police. She's dead now. And then from uh, Chris Hayes, uh, we saw still the same person tweeting, quoting uh, another person said, apparently, this lady just returned to Nigeria recently, having lived almost all her life in the UK. And it's not even been a year she returned and she gets killed in her own country. 
by own security personnel. What kind of a country is this? Uh, he quoting Ike Kauche, who posted this. And let's take a look at uh, uh, South Nigerians are reacting to this. Uh, later, if people say they don't want to return, they will say you are not patriotic. Worst that can happen to that officer is he'll be dismissed. But this girl's family already suffered irredeemable loss uh, from Chi Chiksinwa for there. Let's take a look at uh, uh, more tweets from Nigerians from Promise One by me tweeting, my female friends in Abuja don't like to stay out late in Abuja when they will be driving back alone. According to both of them, you will likely be harassed by the Nigerian police and call the runs girl. Uh, these are the concerns of uh, Nigerian citizens about their security, uh, the security agencies and the operatives and how they feel treated by these uh, security operatives. From Ben Murray Bruce, we saw this tweet yesterday. My heartfelt condolences to the family of Senator Nina D. Usman over the mother of her 31-year-old daughter, Anita Capsin. Most disturbing is the reporter's shielding of the officer who carried out the dastardly act. I demand a full and public investigation by our security agencies. From Senator Ben Murray Bruce tweeting yesterday in his verified handle. Let's take a look at uh, Sega Link was the guy who uh, pioneered the NSAS movement uh, to bring reforms into the uh, SARS uh, police uh, unit. Uh, he tweeted as well, I've just had a dialogue with the authorities on Anita Capsin's mother by policeman. The HQ in Abuja are on the matter, and the Abuja commissioner has been summoned to brief the leadership on the matter. The culprit will be brought to book and justice served. Hashtag justice for Anita. All Nigerians are calling justice for Anita. And of course, the Nigerian police officially issued a statement yesterday. Uh, re death of Miss Anita Capsin at Katangwe Extension, Abuja. IGP has ordered the detention an investigation of policemen involved in the incident that led to the death of Miss Anita Akapsin. Uh, quite a very concerning issue. Uh, we hope that uh, our security agencies uh, will take these issues very proactively and bring reforms into the police to ensure that these things don't even happen in the first place. And then this issue, we brought a report yesterday of uh, the governor of Kano State, uh, Abdullah Ganduje, purportedly receiving millions of dollars from uh, suspected contractors. Uh, that issue has uh, shut down the Nigerian internet even up till this morning and the latest one of the latest reports on that is that uh Kano Assembly sets up panel to probe bribery allegations against Ganduje uh, a second video surfaced yesterday in the social media which I'm not allowed to show you this morning um, but uh, let's go on and take a look at uh, how uh, these Nigerians are reacting to this issue tweeting at Omo underscore Akin no panel required let's see and watch the videos on live TV all channels then we can all decide whether or not it's true. Uh, these are some of the concerns of Nigerians. They want to see these videos on live TV and take a decision for themselves if the videos are real or not. From a uh, Twitter user at Sami underscore OAMN, Kano State Assembly begins probe of Governor Ganduji. Hope it won't be an inconclusive probe. Well, we've seen inconclusive elections in Nigeria. Uh, we don't know what will happen to this particular probe. Maybe it might be inconclusive as well. Ayo Fire was also dominating the trends yesterday. Uh, former governor of uh, Eki, outgoing governor of Ekiti State, uh, the PDP raised an alarm yesterday that uh, the EFCC was planning to arrest Fire and detain him indefinitely. Uh, let's take a look at that tweet from the official hand of the PDP, which we saw yesterday. Uh, presidency orders EFCC to detain Fayoshe indefinitely, PDP alleges. The presidency has directed the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to incarcerate indefinitely the outgoing governor of Ekiti State, Mr. Ayodele Fayoshe. In another tweet, uh, in a follow-up to this, still coming from the official hand of the PDP, let's take a look at uh, information at the disposal of our party and all over the social media suggests that the presidency has put the commission, official EFCC, on alert to arrest the governor, Governor Ayo Fayoshe, at midnight today and detain him indefinitely. This came out yesterday. Uh, we don't know what happened as at this point. If Fayoshe was actually arrested as uh, alarmed by the PDP yesterday. Uh, uh, this was from the official hand. They issued a statement officially from Sherson underscore Joe. We saw this tweet. If he's guilty of the crime he committed, why not? PDP, when will you change? <laughs> Nigerians uh, reacting to that tweet we just read from the PDP. Let's take a look at another tweet from Victor Wokocha 2. PDP, please, your complaint is becoming too much. You are in the majority in National Assembly. Just get your senators and House of Reps to initiate impeachment moves against the president. They will beg and stop this intimidation and harassment. Uh, that those are the words of Victor Owonkocha tweeting uh, in response to the PDP's claim that Fire Share is going to be arrested and detained indefinitely. Uh, the Tribune filed the report yesterday. 
I'm at home waiting for you, Fireshare tells EFCC. The outgoing AK to state governor, Dr. Adele Fireshare, reacted to the alleged plots by the EFCC to invade his Abuja residence to effect his arrest on the orders of the presidency and declared that he would be at home waiting for the operatives of the commission as he has nothing to hide. Reacting to the plots to arrest and detain him indefinitely, Fireshare said, that is their stock in trade. I heard about the plot as well, but I don't care what they do. The commission is not above the law. <laughs> Peter <laughs> the Rock uh, uh, saying he's not afraid. EFCC, bring it on. And um, now we go to Instagram where we saw this very, uh, very ugly report yesterday. Uh, passenger arrested for rubbing his spam on the baby's tongue. A man was on Friday arrested inside a downfall bus for allegedly rubbing his spam on the tongue of a baby whose mom was sitting beside him. The incident occurred at the BRT station along Pipeline Road in Dimu, Lagos. According to other passengers, the suspect had brought out his penis to pleasure himself. However, after ejaculating, he rubbed the spam on the tongue of the baby boy. He was subsequently mobbed and had to beg for his life. He was later handed over to the police attached to Area M Police Station. Uh, this issue was trending on uh, Insta Blog Niger. This video. Let's take a look at the video and the comments that followed. <laughs> One does the say shall never end. Very dramatic things are happening in this time and age. Uh, Nigerians on Instagram reacted like this. IZOKK posting said, first of all, if you unzip your trousers and bring out anything inside the bus, I will just come down. Sick people everywhere. Hope the baby is okay. From Sam underscore Quindy. What were they doing when he was pleasuring himself? Watching or minding their business? The level of grossness self no be here. Let's take a look at a few more comments on this matter yesterday uh, from uh, Nina for you. I pity those that bag their baby in a public transport. Learn from this and shine your eyes. And from this uh, Instagram user, I am underscore uh, Samantha Bex. This is so disgusting. The baby needs a medical checkup and spiritual checkup. Jeez. What kind of person is this one? God have mercy, Biko. I'm from House of Alina. So many mad people in Lagos. This is the height of it. Quite a uh, very, very crazy and ugly development uh, we saw yesterday. And now we move on to sports uh, where Spain lost uh, 3 2 to England yesterday in the UEFA Nations League uh, match that happened in Spain uh, at the Estadio Benito Villa Marin. England became the first visiting side to win a competitive international against Spain since Greece in June 2003. Spain had been unbeaten in 38 home games. And then uh, this is how the BBC celebrated it. Full time Spain 2 3. England, a pulsating game goes the way of Gareth Southgate's side, thanks in part to Raheem Sterling's double. England's first win in Spain since 1987. Trust the English, they must be really celebrating this right now. Let's take a look at a few more. The youngest England side since 1959 have just beaten the Spain team, who haven't lost a competitive home game in 15 years. The future is bright. England is <laughs> celebrating this victory yesterday. And of course, it was also an opportunity for social media users to throw uh, shades at, uh, Rob, at uh, David here. And uh, he used to be called David here, but now yesterday he got a new name, David the Basket. Let's take a look at some comments that followed yesterday for conceding three goals. Uh, he got that new title. It's only a matter of time before Keeper replaces the here in that Spanish team from Twitter user Tony King. And uh, let's take a look at a few more comments. Uh, David De Gea, three shots against him, three goals. Interesting meme there. And uh, we take a look at uh, one more uh, tweet on this matter. Uh, someone said De Gea was receiving goals like dollars. Jehovah. Wow. <laughs> well, it's on that interesting note, we wrap up Kakaki Social this morning. Follow the conversation on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Kakaki Social. I am Uhimaya Maize. Now handing you over back now to uh, Chico Dinaka and Otiwe. Oh, it's quite nice to see you back, TV. <laughs> thank you very much, Ahima. I really, truly did miss you guys. But um, thank you for the updates. And talking about the England game, that's what happens when English sides win any game. The noise goes <laughs> off the roof. Precisely. Yeah. Pleasure. Have a nice day.